Hello, and welcome to this filmmaker's commentary on the third short film I worked on, Obsession of an Evil Mind. Uh, this is the um, final sixth form film I made um, in the final year of sixth form. And it is a creepy thriller slash horror uh, about this character you see now, Stephen Flynn, and his obsession over his neighbours, particularly uh, the woman you just saw there, Penelope. Uh, he's got a bit of a thing for her, it would appear. But yes, this was made with a small crew, uh, myself, uh, again, fellow filmmaker George, and you've seen Jake before in one of the earlier short films. He's playing Stephen, and Penelope played by Charlotte. And, uh, well, I have a cameo as uh, the other neighbour living with Penelope. So this is another short film uh, with very little dialogue, just emphasis on sound effects and music uh, give it that creepy feeling uh, this is one of a few times that we did um, sort of proper ADR um, uh, voiceover um, you'll hear it in just a moment with this writing of the letter uh, this is actually George speaking um, it, we recorded this dialogue uh, and then pitched it down slightly so it sounded a bit more creepy and it did sound like George because it was a bit too, you know, just a bit too normal and didn't sound like this this creepy character um, writing this letter for Penelope to come over and have dinner with him uh, again, it's all very much uh, natural lighting except on the interior shots um, use just a, a a desk lamp or something whenever we can just to give it a bit more extra light and uh, using very static shots again just tripods um, using the same camera we had for the last couple of films the Canon 550 or 500D which are very decent cameras and a standard 50mm lens on uh, on all of them so moving into the uh, dinner scene, this is kind of the major scene that the, the film almost revolves around. This the, the when Stephen finally gets Penelope in his own house and uh, basically gives her dinner because he's he's not eating, is he? Um, and we used Moonlight Sonata here as the music um, so that the editing and what you see becomes very creepy. But during the edit, me and George, well, were a little bit crazy, had fun with the edit. Uh, we initially used Marvin Gaye's Let, Let's Get It On um, for the scene, which did make it hilarious and in a way a little bit creepier, but of course it didn't match with the uh, the tone of the film at all. But, um, well, here's an example of what it would be like. Let's get it on. So obviously that music choice didn't work, so uh, Moonlight Sonata was much better to use. And then we move upstairs, uh, and so here we wanted to do something we saw, you saw in Joe, the other short film, the first short film that we did, a text message um, to display some information, but we wanted to do something different, but it didn't really work very well. It should really be a like a text message sound effect, and it pops up and then disappears, but it didn't really quite work out that way. And then moving into the bedroom... We've got um, this creepy hate, air quotes, hate portfolio. And we made that by collecting several pictures of myself, Charlotte and Jake. Uh, cutting out some of the characters' heads and sticking them over the tops of others. And then generally writing, as you can see there, and scribbling all over it to make it look like it was written by a maniac. You can see all these questions and uh, all this writing... And then moving on to the next page, you can see that um, it gets a little bit more crazy. More scribbles. That's Jake's head stuck over mine there. 
Lots of scribbles and scratches. And uh, yeah, most of these photos were just taken on set. Others are um, some that I've we were taking around the college campus. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> the discovery of uh, of this body, of my body. Um, that is actually a space for drawers under the bed. Or well, storage space. Uh, just enough room for me to <laughs> climb underneath. And uh, then we've got that screaming sound effect. Which is very cheesy and unintentionally funny. And then the uh, last line of dialogue, also recorded by George and Pitch Down. Are you okay up there? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, very random. But um, that is Obsession of an Evil Mind. It's, it's just a little thriller, horror, that we decided to make. Uh, probably, yeah, could could do with an improvement uh, in, in lots of aspects you know just to make it more interesting different camera shots and different lighting but that was a fun little short to make um, and maybe unintentionally funny I, I certainly find it funny but then again maybe it hasn't aged as well as the other the first two um, but yes, that's Obsession of an Evil Mind. Next time, we will be looking at uh, a short film that I don't think I've released before. Um, and you'll you'll find out why when you when you watch it through. Um, I think it's safe to say it, it's not a good one. Uh, lots and lots of mistakes and... Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it through. The next one's the meeting. And, uh, yeah, doing a commentary on it will be kind of like a reflective, constructive criticism, pretty much, of it. <laughs> but you can look forward to that next time. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!